In this video, I'm going to show you weight loss breakfast recipe ideas. These are recipes that helped me to lose weight and that are specifically created to be healthy, filling and low in calories. They're also delicious and easy to make. All the recipes that I'm going to show you in this video are from my ebook, Just Breakfast. But don't worry, you don't need the ebook to follow along with this video. I'm going to go through the ebook and choose some recipes to make now in this video. I really believe that the first meal you eat in the day sets the tone for your entire day of eating and when you're trying to lose weight or get into better shape, I've been through this myself when I've made the choice to eat something healthier as my first meal of the day, I just feel like the rest of the day I end up making healthier choices. It's like I'm already in this mode of making healthier choices. I wanted to show you some easy, quick, healthy recipes that you can make. It's a really tough decision which ones I'm going to make for you today. I created these recipes for increased sustained energy and to be filling lower in calories. There's nothing worse than when you're trying to lose weight and your breakfast just does not keep you full at all. You just feel like hungry straight afterwards. So yeah, I kept that in mind. I am making myself hungry. <laughs> Let me just check to see if there's nothing else I want to make. Okay. These are some delicious healthy recipes that I think you're gonna love. This one is so easy. First I mix half a cup of rolled oats together with two teaspoons of chia seeds in a jar. You can use a bowl, a container, anything. This is the basics for overnight oats. Then I add two teaspoons of instant coffee. You can use one to two teaspoons. I use this decaf freeze dried coffee. Then I add about eight raw walnut halves that I roughly chop up and one medium wrapped banana which I smash with a fork and then add in. Optionally, you can add a sprinkle of cinnamon, a teaspoon of sweetener, like maple syrup or coconut sugar, if you like things a little sweeter or any sweetener you like. I don't add any. Then you can add half a cup of water and mix everything together. Cover the jar or the container to make it airtight, store it in the fridge overnight, about eight hours so that it can soak. And the next day you can take it out the fridge and serve it in a bowl or eat it in the jar with a spoon as it is. But here we're gonna make it look pretty. I'm cutting up a small amount of extra banana to add on top purely for aesthetics and some extra chopped walnut pieces and sprinkling a small amount of the coffee powder on top. It's so simple to make using quite basic ingredients like oats, coffee, banana. It's filling. It's great for increased and sustained energy because of the whole carbs in the oats and the banana, the healthy fats in the walnuts and the chia seeds. There's a bit of protein in the chia seeds and the walnuts. There's a lot of fiber in this recipe too. And the ingredients that I used make about 400 calories, which I think is a great amount of calories for a weight loss breakfast. You don't want to skip breakfast if you're hungry just because you want to lose weight. You want to try eat better whole foods that will keep you going and fill you up and set you up for a healthier day of eating. My green mango smoothie, as I said, is one of my favorites right now. It's filling, it's refreshing, it makes me feel so good when I have it, and it's quick to make with only four ingredients. First, I add about one and a half cups of frozen mango pieces to a blender. I'm using my Nutribullet, and then you can add half of a small to medium-ish avocado. This helps to give it an amazing creamy texture. With just a small handful of fresh baby spinach, just sneak it in there, you don't even taste it. And I usually add half a scoop of plant-based protein powder. I usually use this one by Garden of Life. It's about 110 calories per scoop. Today I'm using this one by the same brand, it's a different one though. The scoop is a little smaller so I use about one and a half scoops. You can use any protein powder, I recommend using one that's vanilla and sweetened. This one is sweetened with stevia. Then I add about one cup of water and some ice cubes, blend it up and look just look how thick and creamy that is so i can eat it with a spoon or drink it with a straw i like to get the little bit stuck at the end of the blender too there's some great healthy fats in there from the avocado obviously a lot of protein from the protein powder some good carbs from the mango fiber in there too extra nutrients from the baby spinach so this is also a really great weight loss breakfast at about 420 calories which is a really great amount it's not too low it's not too high but it's so filling and it really helps to give me sustained energy and it's so yummy as well i love it stay tuned <laughs> stay tuned for squirrel of the week at the end raccoon Sleep came back for another visit
Spicy pepper toast. I'm going to show you my favorite spicy pepper toast. You can also make it without the spice, by the way. This is a really great meal prep option. Also something a bit different and a great savory option. I love to meal prep some roasted bell pepper. It's so easy to do. It's really not much effort at all. All you have to do is slice up some bell peppers. I like to do fairly thin slices for this. You can use any color bell pepper. My favorite is always red. And the flavor of the pepper is amazing when roasted. Trust me on that. If you have not tried it already, you gotta try it. And you can do as many as you like. You can just do one to try it. I've used three medium ones. I use some avocado oil spray. You can use any cooking oil that you like. I like to add some dried chili flakes. You can skip this if you don't like spicy food. It'll still taste really good, but I love the spicy. And some salt and some pepper. I add the peppers to a baking tray lined with baking paper, and you can add that to an oven preheated to about 360 degrees Fahrenheit or about 180 degrees Celsius, and roast the peppers for about 20 to 30 minutes. You can check it after 15 minutes or so, and roughly every five minutes after that. You can leave them to cool before storing them for meal prep. Here's how I like to make my spicy pepper toast. I'm trying a new bread today. I'm using this gluten-free sourdough bread. Usually I use the same whole grain rye bread that I always use. And you can use any cream cheese. I usually use this vegan cream cheese, but sometimes I can't get that one. So then I use the vegan feta cheese by the same brand. It's not really like feta. It's more like cream cheese, just not quite as easy to spread. It's got a really good flavor. You can use any cheese or vegan cheese or you can even use avocado instead of the cream cheese that's good too and i added a third size of toast you can do the same thing cream cheese it up and then i'm adding some spicy peppers on top of the cream cheese toast this is so good you can add the rest of the peppers into an airtight container and store it in the fridge and you can add those peppers to you know your cream cheese toast every morning or you can add them to salads to sandwiches to wraps there's so many ways that you can use roasted peppers they add a lot of flavor to recipes and just for reference for calories if you use two slices of bread at roughly 60 calories each which is the average calories for a slice of bread check the brand you use though plus about 45 grams or about three tablespoons of cream cheese brand dependent again plus about half of one roasted bell pepper it should be roughly 200 calories so you can easily add a third slice of toast with the same toppings and still have a breakfast that is around 400 calories or under and this recipe also works as a quick and easy lunch sometimes i have it for lunch and depending on the bread and the cheese used this breakfast can be healthier it's a great way to add some veggies in at breakfast too Last but not least, my chocolate yogurt smoothie. In my opinion, chocolate is always a good idea for breakfast. I know a lot of you guys feel the same. This chocolate yogurt smoothie is one of my favorites. Rob loves it too. And this one works as both a breakfast and a dessert. I'll show you how. It's really simple. We're gonna use about three fresh medjool dates. I add one cup of plain or vanilla yogurt to a blender. I like to use this unsweetened vanilla coconut yogurt by So Delicious. You can use any yogurt you like. Then I put the dates and add them to the blender. I like to take that little thing off the top too. I'm not sure what it's called before I add it to my Nutribullet. Then you can add about two to three teaspoons of cocoa powder. I've done two here and one tablespoon of almond butter. It does work without the almond butter too but I like to add it, add some extra protein. Optional again, a small sprinkle of cinnamon. You can also use a drop of vanilla extract and a tiny pinch of sea salt brings out the chocolate flavor. I use about one eighth of a cup of water, not too much. You can use up to a quarter cup if you've got a blender, like an old blender that doesn't blend well. That'll make it easier to blend. Then I add some ice cubes and blend it up. So if you wanna have a breakfast smoothie in the morning, just pour it up into a big glass with a straw, enjoy. If you wanna share it, make a cute snack or a healthy dessert, you can split this between two smaller glasses. It makes enough for two smaller servings. And then you can add a tiny amount of extra yogurt on top of each smoothie. This is what I did in the ebook to make it look pretty. Just swirl it a little bit, a little bit of extra coconut yogurt, and I think it turned out so cute. And if you wanna get extra cute, you can grate a tiny bit of dark chocolate on top. I like to use this one, and I'm making a mess everywhere, but would it be a Liesl Jane recipe video if I didn't make a mess on the counter at least once in the video? I should have just grated it on a plate first, but a little sprinkle of dark chocolate grated on top looks so cute, especially if you wanna have this as a little dessert or treat. You don't need a lot, just a tiny bit. 
this is a really, really yummy breakfast. It's also very quick and easy to make, just three to four main ingredients. It's filling, it'll help to give you sustained energy, and it's about 410 calories, so again, a good amount for a weight loss breakfast in my opinion. There's fiber and whole carbs in the dates, there's protein in the almond butter, and also healthy fats in the coconut yogurt, and some extra antioxidants in the cocoa powder. A little meal prep tip, this one also keeps well in the fridge. You can meal prep it the day before and store it in an airtight jar in the fridge for the next morning, so that's an even quicker idea. I hope you enjoyed this video and these recipes from my ebook, Just Breakfast. I only showed you four. I wish I could have showed you all 58, but that would have been a really long video. My ebook, Just Breakfast, is available on my blog, lieseljane.com. I will link it below for you in the description box. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you did enjoy it, subscribe to my channel for more videos. Stay tuned for my next video. It's going to be out soon. And I will see you then. Come on, Gersie. Let's smoothie down. Hey, now. No, the smoothie's not for you. Okay, how about an almond today? Hmm? You still don't want an almond. Hmm? Do you want to try my smoothie? <laughs> okay, this is your last walnut. There you go. There you go. Stay safe. She does not want these almonds.